Hello everyone, you're watching Bricks Live, back with another LEGO review. This time we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Super Heroes Beware the Vulture set from Spider-Man Homecoming. So, let's get right into it. So, here is everything that was included in the box. You can see we've got three bags. We've got one sticker sheet, two instruction books, and one comic book. So, let's get to build.
Here is the Beware the Vulture set from Spider-Man Homecoming set or built. First of all, let's take a look at the minifigures. So here is Spider-Man. You can see it's really detailed print all over the uh, face, torso and legs. You can see the legs are dual molded and they also have a little bit of printing as well. The arms have also got prints on them in both arms and you can see it's got back printing as well as well as on the head as well and it's a really well designed minifigure with red and dark blue uh, colours and you can see it come, the minifigure also comes with these power blast pieces comes with three of them included in the set and they are simply uh, activated by pressing uh, in on the minifigure's arm and usually they're supposed to shoot off like that. And it also comes with a small printed phone piece as well, as well as this uh, rope web piece, which Spider-Man can grab onto as well. Next minifigure we'll take a look at is Iron Man. You can see he has the same uh, helmet as they've included in previous versions, which can lift up. And spoiler alert, it's not Tony Stark, it's a drone, and he just has this transparent blue head. I wish they included the Tony Stark head as well, but unfortunately they didn't. But printing all over this minifigure looks really nice, you can see it's got the silver on there, as well as these uh, transparent blue pieces to help give a uh, jet booster effect, and you can see there's... Uh, printing on the back as well, which is really nice to well detailed. Now let's take a look at the next minifigure. So here is the Shocker. You can see it has uh, nice printing all over him for a torso print, and he has arm printing as well. He also holds these two glove pieces. I think in the movie he only has one, but they included two in this set anyway. This is how the instruction says to build it. You can see they are just uh, held by the minifigure's hands. Just plain legs here. And he's got back printing as well to show the hoodie. A uh, bit of a generic face print there that we've used before. But I think it suits this character well. So that is this minifigure. Let's have a look at the Vulture next. So here is the main villain of the movie, the Vulture. You can see it has this... Uh, helmet print which was the Iron Man comic version helmet and it has the printing here on the torso as well for the flight jacket and he has just dark green pants no printing now you can see there's printing on the back of the torso as well that continues around from the front and if we take the helmet off you can see it just has the uh, comic version of the vulture's head and there's some dots on the back as well I think the eyebrows maybe should have been dark tan or grey instead of white but it's not too much of an issue and it's still quite an accurate minifigure the neck bracket can also be used to attach onto the wings which is a brick built uh, piece and you can see the wings have these uh, Nexonite shield pieces here to make up the mechanical details. There's also two transparent uh, pieces on the sides and each of these wings both has some uh, posability to it with these bits all being on clips so they can easily be adjusted as well as uh, these bits being bent here on ratcheted joints. Uh, it also has these two little bits at the bottom which are rotated out at the bottom, underneath the minifigure, is this jet booster piece, which adds another layer of detail. You can see there's also two stud shooters on the top, which shoot out purple studs. And they are just activated by pressing the top here. On the back, you can see you've got these two uh, pieces on ball joints, and they can be angled any direction you want. It's also got these round circles here, uh, plates, as well as these stickers, two stickers onto the back 
of these curved tiles and that adds more detail to the build. So now let's have a look at the van. So here is the van that Spider-Man chases in the movie. You can see it's got all sorts of um, scratches and bumps from where it crashes from the chase in the movie. And you can see it's got some uh, web stickers as well. On the front, you can see it has a number plate and lights and a nice grill build on the front. It's all tiled off. And in the uh, front driver's cabin, you can uh, have one room for one minifigure where you can see the shocker. Not a lot of detail in there, just a simple steering wheel, but that's alright. And it has uh, rear view mirrors on both sides of the vehicle. And the roof can be detached. Around the back here you can see this bit here. has a sticker detail there. And you can also fold this uh, down to reveal what's inside. And for more access you can also open these two sides of the vehicle. On the other side of those... Uh, walls, you can see it's got these two pieces which can be detached to form an accessory for the shocker. And as well as this, you can lift up this uh, six stud shooter, multi stud shooter, and those can all those studs on the front can easily be shot off by just twisting this little uh, handle at the back, and that can be just rotated around come over the roof and you can also close these back as well. Underneath here you can also see there's space for two crates here and each one has a sticker on the top of them. Here's a closer look at both of them. You can see they've got the Department of Damage Control logo on there and the, you can take the top off. This one just has the little uh, bomb thing that Ned has in the movie and the other one's just empty but you can store the shocker's fist in there if you want to. Another play feature of the car is that you can remove this back uh, panel here and you can attach a web for Spider-Man to hold on to and it has a stud in the middle of it so you can attach your Spider-Man minifigure there and he can follow behind as well. Here's a quick look at the spare pieces included in this set. You can see you get 10 of these transparent purple studs, which is good for the play features in this set. And you might lose them a bit. Uh, it's also got a couple of other useful pieces here. Spare power blast, and also one of these studs with a hole in the middle of it. Also included in the box is this comic book, which you can see on this half has a Spider-Man comic which shows some scenes from the movie and on the other side you can see it has the Thor Ragnarok comic as well so overall I think this is a really great set it has two uh, solid builds with the vultures wings in the vehicle which is accurate to the movie uh, the minifigures, all four of them are great and they're all the main characters from the movie if I could change one thing about this set I would include a Ned minifigure as well as uh, an alternate version of the other shocker in the movie but apart from those things it's a really great set so thank you for watching please stay tuned for an alternative build which will be coming out over the next few weeks please remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you again soon